Okay, so here's another quick tip on how to do this really cool effect I saw on this Beats by Dre commercial. So let's have a quick look at that now. Notice how it's locked onto the earphone and the background is all moving. So that's the desired effect here. So let's get right into it. Um, so let's go back to the first frame on the first clip and a couple notes about taking your footage. You wanna make sure you shoot it a little wider than you intend on the final product to be so that you have room to kind of punch in a little bit. Um, and the reason for that is because it is a stabilization effect that we're doing here. It's just that we're gonna lock on to a particular item, in this case, the actual earbud right here. And also the second part is you wanna to try to keep your center focus wherever you want it to kind of lock onto. You wanna keep that kind of in the same part of the frame and approximately the same size of the frame if possible. I mean, that can actually change. The size can change if it has to but at least try to keep that in the same position all the time. And that becomes a little bit easier if you have a gimbal, which I did in this case. So uh, let's take a look at that little clip. Uh, in order to do this, we need the stabilize effect. Like I said, we'll click on the uh, color tab. And over here, we'll make sure we're on stabilizer. And the thing about the stabilizer is the new, because there's the new version and there's the classic version. The classic version has what we need. So um, we're looking for a point tracker and it would normally be down here, but we don't have one. So we gotta click up here on these three little dots and click classic stabilizer. And now we have our little point tracker. So we'll click on that, it creates a little tracking point here and we drag it to where we wanna start tracking. And like I said, make sure you're on the first frame because that makes it a lot easier. Okay, so we start there on the first frame and we just press the play button to track forward. And that looks like it locked on perfectly. I don't think there was any errors there at all. Okay. Okay, so that locked on, that's great. So now what we wanna do is we'll turn off the zoom and rotate because we don't need that for this effect and we're just gonna hit stabilize. Simple as that. So rather than just stabilizing the footage to try to figure out the background horizon and smooth that out, to smooth out the whole shot, this is kind of doing the opposite. It's it's smoothing out, it's, it's locking where that ear is on the frame, and the rest is gonna jiggle around and move, which is exactly that uh, Beats by Dre effect that we saw. So let's see if we accomplished it. I'd say we have. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so let's do this one more time on the next clip just so that we make sure we know what we're doing here. Um, again, first frame, we are on the classic stabilizer. Make sure of that. And we go to click on this set point. Oh, actually it's really good that this happened because we gotta make sure it's not cloud tracker, it's point tracker over here. I guess it was already set um, from my earlier attempts on the other clip. So this is good, this is good because you probably would have ran into that problem. So let's click on here. And now we take this tracker, we're gonna put that right on the earbud again. This is a lot more zoomed out, so hopefully it, it tracks it. Okay, let's see what it does here. Nice, that looks pretty good. Okay, so like I said, our pan and tilt was on, the zoom and rotate was not, the zoom down here is on so that it can punch in. Uh, if we wanted to reduce the effect, you would reduce the amount here from 100 down to a lower number, but you know you want that pretty aggressive effect if you want that Beats by Dre look. And we just hit stabilize. And let's go back to the first frame um, and see what this looks like. Right. And here are the two clips after I applied a custom LUT. I'm gonna actually include this LUT for free down in the description. 
anyway, that's the effect. So I hope you learned something. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out the channel and I really appreciate it. Uh, be sure to subscribe for these quick tips and lots of other filmmaking content. And I will see you in the next one.